Ominous. Is ominous ominous? Oh, ominous gaunt. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Well. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Oh, that's super cool. Um. I think Ominous is vision impaired? That's pretty slick. One thing I did hear about this game is that they are um, trying to have characters that are more diverse and having more representation in the characters. And I, I love that. Personally, I love that. I really, really love it. Even if some people may argue like, oh, the game's trying to be woke. Oh, there's like an ulterior motive. I'm like... Hey, representation is representation. Like, regardless of what the motives are or whether or not this is, like, a business, a business, you know, um, stunt or whatever, representation is representation. Like, like if, if, if I'm not being represented, if you include an LGBTQ character mostly because you're trying to up sales, I'll take it. Because, <laughs> I mean... When you don't have a lot to begin with, you beggars can't be chooser. Take what you can get. It's ultimately a good thing. In my opinion, it's ultimately a good thing. Especially, especially if the characters are represented well. If they're represented well. Um, I do like to make an entrance. Uh, memorable, memorable, more like terrifying. It sort of made a memorable arrival. Uh, I do like to make an entrance. Um... I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Nice to meet you. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Do mermaids often appear outside the Karma Room? Were you expecting hmm. to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four oh, wow. founders of Hogwarts. Not That's something cool. I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, right. most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. I like you, Ominous. So far, I, I like you. Do mermaids often appear Did outside the common room? Did that say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Oh, see, here's another reason why I really love playing as a Slytherin in this game, is because I feel that I actually get to know, like, really have an opportunity to learn more about the students in this house, who may again be um, misunderstood or misrepresented. So by me actually being a member of this house, I feel like I'd be able to get that sort of insight that I would not have gotten otherwise if I were in any other house. Because I, yeah, I feel like it is important for me to like sort of immerse myself and to really know what Slytherin House students are actually like, not what the stereotype Thank is. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I'm very curious to see like how many of how many times they can actually like um, interact with these characters and how deep of a relationship can you establish? How attached are you able to get with these, these characters? Because those are the things that I love about playing RPGs. So hopefully, fingers crossed, at least for many of these characters, there will be an opportunity to feel like. Um, you do are you are able to develop those types of relationships and bonds and friendships. All right, last but not that, least, Imelda. Trust me. Imelda Reyes. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't. Wizard's warn chess. You. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. 
Interesting that would be me. On your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Really? I wish you had been there. We had it handled. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll play nice. I'll play nice. I wish you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. You seem to know a lot about wizard's chess. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Okay, this is like the Hermione Granger of Slytherin right now, it seems like. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Well, she certainly doesn't... She certainly doesn't suffer from low self-esteem, does she? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Okay. Is the new I mean, at least... Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I'm curious how the classes will be in this in this game, how that works. Meet Professor Weasley outside of the common room. Okay, so that was super cool. I'm really enjoying... Oh, jeez. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Professor Weasley. I trust Weasley. you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in What's the worst that could happen? In unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding ordinary. exams. They yeah. will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much be nice. discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. In real life, if I was... Here you are. Cool. Wow. Whoa. Well, what is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Nice. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This okay. way. In real life, speaking of professions, if I actually was in the wizarding world in I real life... I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. I need a spell. Fire spell, which I can't do. Um, what I was saying is... Oh, that's cool. Nice. Uh, if I actually was in the Wizarding World in real life, my profession that I would want to have is a wand maker or a wand crafter like, um, like, oh gosh, why is my mind blanking? Um, a wand maker. Um, because I just love the idea of empowering, empowering young wizards. Um, and I know, there's just something that I feel like is really cool about crafting all the different wands with the different cores, making each one unique, etc., etc., uh, I don't know. That's that's what would be my first choice. Ollivander. That's it. Ollivander. I want to be a wand maker like Ollivander. Um, but my second choice would be healer. Would be a would be a wizard healer. Which is funny because in real life, my mom, who is a nurse, um, and in fact, 
the vast majority of my family members here in America are in the medical field. My mom continually, continually pushed me to be a doctor and I was just like, no, like I was not into that at all. But in the wizarding world, having magical healing, that would be something I would really enjoy, I think. Even though it's pretty much the same thing, in a the way, kind of. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. <laughs> Kelpie statue, guide pages. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Oh. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards con completing challenges appears here. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. Field guide challenges are the only way to explore to acquire experience points or XP. Interesting. This is your wizarding level XP. Uh, XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Wow. It's so collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. Gear appearance reward, Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Each challenge is tier. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Interesting. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you've unlocked. Okay. So, interesting. Challenges. Room of Requirement, Exploration, Quests, Combat, Field Guide Pages, Collect Field Guide, Locked Challenge. Okay. Map. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Hogwarts. Professor Weasley has said she has more to show me. I should follow her to find out what she has in mind. Attend your first day at Hogwarts. Collections. Oh. Cosmetic alterations applied gear via the change appearances options in the gear menu. Appearances in this list are awards for special accomplishments such as challenges and quests. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Inventory. Beasts. Quest items. Notes. Resources. Gear. Oh, cool. Cloaks and robes, outfit, handwear, facewear. Are these purely cosmetic? Gold rim spectacles. Interesting. Are these purely cosmetic? Oh, they might actually give me bonuses. Headwear. <laughs> this item has no magical properties. Hand. Eh. Nice. Wand handles? Wand handles. Okay. Neckwear? Okay. Flying mounts, broom. Nice. Cloaks and robes. Traditional school robe, well appointed. Okay. Outfit. Ugh. Perfect vest uniform, well appointed. So I could technically remove my coke. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, nice. But how about the gear that I that I unlocked? Can I not? Can I not wear them? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Gear. Talents. Process of the main story to unlock. Okay. Field guide pages out of Revelio. Nice. Okay. 
so much going on here. And I love it. Clever. All right. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. Oh. Something here. I see something there. Something... Oh, there's a chest over there. You're about to stray too far from the presser. Oh. I can't... I can't sprint. I am stuck at a crawl, basically. Rebellion. Something of interest there. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Ooh, I like Your this. Your field blue guide flames. contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any f f discovered blue flames. Hogwarts is divided up into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. In this view, you can see the flue flames available in that region. Green flue flames represents flames you've discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Select the Library Annex region. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. Use AD to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall Flu Beams with space. Cool. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wow. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Nice. Always wow. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That's so neat. I don't remember this that from the should movies. That be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And Great. I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Great. Thank you. Can you tell me more about Charms what class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I like that. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Not interested in Aura. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecket in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hecket. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, and many people your professors to meet. have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, uh-oh. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I like Fig, 
I like Fig, but the thing is, I'm a terrible liar, and, like, part of me trusts, part of me trusts Professor Weasley more than I trust Fig. So, like, this is the problem. Do I tell Professor Weasley? I'm gonna tell Professor Weasley. Because, like, Slytherins are, are known for being secretive, you know, and I'm like, ugh. I'm not as I'm not a secretive person. I'm really not. I'm very much an open book. I am not a private person. I feel like if I've got something important, like I why would I not tell people? It's hard for me. There is in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. I'd like to believe that. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very mm -hmm. well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Thank and you, Professor. Invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Oh, come and she's find spying me in my me. classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's like when a parent gives their teenager, like, a cell phone that can track where they are. It's like, I will check your progress. Honey jukes, yum. Ooh. Central Hall Fountain. The ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain base. Nice. Challenge complete. Ooh. Kier appearance reward. Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Uh, Hogwarts regalia gloves. Cool. Collect eight field guide pages in Hogwarts. Eight field guide pages. Okay. Revelio. Wow, that was it. Ooh, what's in here? What is this? Can't do anything with that. Okay. My mother is so excited for me to come home for the holiday. She's written to me nearly every day. The family I was exhausted. My family loves the little Quidditch World Cup. Father was on the Barnton amateur team for a bit. Been obsessed with the sport ever since. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. I'm Did excited I about the you studies. And Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins. I don't like hiding things from people. I hope I didn't say too much. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty honest. I am like, it's hard for me to lie. I'm not the kind of Slytherin that keeps secrets like that. Unless it's super, super important. Which, at this one... I felt like I needed to say something to, to the head, the miss, the, the co-headmaster, headmistress. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster, 
that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. I'm excited. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it sure. and have a look. Sure. Open the quest log. You can track available quests from the map. This represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New skills can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with right click to continue. Charms class, dark arts class. I want to do, let's see. The field map shows Professor Hecate's class in the, is in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Attend defense against the dark arts class. Reward Leviosa. Ooh. Charm class. The field guide map shows Professor Ronin's classes in astronomy wing. The castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field to help me find a way. Okay. Track quest. Cool. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly cool. helpful. Thank you. Thank now, you, Professor. Sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll Ooh. enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. As I said, I'm way more interested about classes than exploring. But the cast Charmed Compass. The Charmed Compass will track you to, will lead you to anything you're tracking. The Charmed Compass. Huh. Interesting. That's cool. It's time to trade in my Oak Shard 79 for a new one. But I just want, but I mean, while I'm here, I might as well explore a little bit just so I can get my bearings. Probably shouldn't just randomly be casting spells in the oh, middle of the. What am I missing? Lenora Everlay. Hello. Hi. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks Army? I'm potty, but it's this, what does this mean? painting. I never noticed it before. I don't if know what I barmy know and potty means. And I do. An empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I would agree. Have you learned anything about it? Are there other paintings like this here? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I hope so too. Do come and find like me a moth to a frame. something illuminating that solves the mystery. Illuminating. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Ah. It's got, I see like, white column with red s staircase. Find a location depicted in the painting. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting. Revelio. Interesting. 